And so getting people in that mentality, taking responsibility, taking accountability, realizing they can get better at something, but they've got to put that time and energy into doing it. That's where I want to help people focus. I, I'm with you 100%. But again, if we can just project a little further and believe in ourselves, which we have the capacity to do and our own ability to think and approach things differently, maybe even just a day out, everyone's got a different projection level. At my best, I can, I can try to get to my eulogy. Not there, not for long, but it comes back and usually can only go, you know, handles, hangs around a couple months out, you know, or, 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 or a couple years or 10 years out is when I'm doing really good. So some people with the projection of them, maybe this afternoon. Great. Start there. Just to go an hour. If you can only go an hour ahead to project and to make a little choice now based on that projection of what's going to pay me back. Am I going to have more pleasure? How am I going to be cool? What decision can I make to be cooler to my future self in one hour? Do that. Each hour. That would be incredibly helpful. And we, we don't seem to connect to the, 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 the lineage of how our present decisions affect our future existence for ourselves individually. Collective change only comes with an army of individual changes. There are choices you made yesterday that are helping you be more calm, less stressed, and no shit's handled behind your back right now while you're present talking with me. You organize things. You prepared. You did certain things that are allowing you to be more present, to be more successful, to, to, that, that, are, that are helping you succeed. Like you want to do and ought to do. You can go back and find them. They're, they're, they're choices we make. And we, again... We know the one, we're not going to do it perfect, but we know the ones that give us the proverbial hangover that make us go, shit. We know, I'm not saying, and I'm also never not saying that this is not supposed to be super fun to do either. I'm talking about, I'm talking about teaching the beer drinkers to have some little water between the beer. I'm not telling you to quit drinking beer. I'm saying, no, have a glass of water between the beer so you can party longer with more people and party better. I'm, Go. But there's, a, there's, an, there's an investment to make today. And projection helps with, from, we're going to go to Vegas Friday. And we're going to take the lid off. And we're going to go without a curfew. I'm not going to, let, let me get done what I need to do Monday, Thursday. Give myself a buffer. So I don't go into the debit section when I can't handle being there Monday. I mean, just a little projection for our indulgences, which we should have and can have, but pick our spots, know our zones a little bit, have a little context for where it is we're going and when we're going to be complete hedonist, which we should be, but pick our spots. Um, so I'm not talking about responsibility being no fun, but there are metrics to it. I mean, we, I've seen I've seen people do it. I've seen myself when I've done it. I've seen myself when I didn't do it. And gone back and was like, oh, right there. You didn't measure that metric. I will no shit. You're, you're, you're scrambling right now, breaking a sweat, going, uh, yeah, you didn't prepare. Yeah, you, 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 you chose to forget about that responsibility and you didn't tend to it. And that's why you got all, that's why you're pulling more weeds now. No shit. The Monday morning weed pool. 